Hold on, I'm gonna jump into a game to start. I think I'll leave the first one to like no prediction yet, but yeah, let's get something going then. Uh, two gooses. I do have. I do not have the achievement. I remember I had a really good game with um with gooses before. No, one day, someday, I'm getting the Super Auto Pets name. Like I have to. Don't wanna miss more streams. Oh, so I'm taking up your slot. Okay, safe. Didn't lose any HP, which means I'm safe to lose the next round if I need to. Uh, I don't love any of this. I was hoping for some sort of duplicate. May I take this? Although the soap moth on here is also like really good, so. That's solid, and then I think I'll roll before I do anything else. Maybe freeze an apple. Because I'd buy that over the other thing at least. And, I don't know, like, take magpie, combine there, buy a groundhog. Nah, I think I just, like, combine there and double buy Groundhogs and unfreeze the apple. Also, why is it so laggy? Is this my internet? Hmm. Is anyone else having, like, lag today? Is the stream title wrong or it hasn't been refreshed? Yeah, when I launched the stream, I didn't have, um... I hadn't clicked done in OBS, so it didn't change anything. I've changed it now, so if you refresh, it should be updated. Sap has been slow today. Is slow. Ah. And it's correct for you. Okay, that is good. Uh, yeah, I'm buying this Groundhog. We <laughs> definitely do that now. I love a Stilt, because if I can find some Chocolate Cake for that, then it's a free 6-6 six, six in the fight, kind of. Bedfish, also really nice, I think. Uh, I'm probably going to sell the Possum here, and then I can just like double buy these. I'd feel bad if it hits the Stilt, because I definitely want to put a Chocolate Cake on that. But yeah, if it gets the Possum stats, I'll probably just leave it how it is. Come on. Oh no. Alright. Oh god, how long has it been like this? <laughs> it's so slow. It's <laughs> studying, hello. It's dreading the Monday morning club. You'll be okay, don't worry. You'll get through. Uh, No sea turtle, not interested. We do get to summon some things from trumpets, but... Yeah. Yeah, not interested. Uh, Groundhog, do I need that achievement? <laughs> I do not. Oh, okay, we're not freezing that then. I could maybe go for like a sea urchin or something. I would go for the Hercules beetle, but I'm wondering if they're going to update that soon. Because on the test server, this thing has like three, four stats. I don't know if it's been changed in other ways, but... Yeah, I'd rather go for some late game stuff. There's so many tier 5 and 6 things that I need. Don't want to throw away... Throw away a run trying to collect like janky tier 1 and tier 2 things. So, I think, do something like this. So, like, we're buffing up the goose, and then it's also going to get the most healing out of this, and these are just my trumpet generation. I think that's fine. Kino is a public holiday, so I get to watch Kino at... Wait, what? Did I read Kino is a public holiday? Tomorrow is a public holiday, so you get to watch Kino at 2am. Fun! I don't like staying up till 2am. <laughs> my cat keeps waking me up at, like... Between two and three most mornings, and it's horrible. I've stopped like letting her in my room. I just let her scratch and meow at my door, I'm trying to stop her from doing it. You've survived 100% of your Monday mornings thus far. See, that's a pretty good track record. Oh no, bad kitty. It's just because she like, oh, she's just so annoying. Like I love her, and if she comes in at night, I want to pet her, and she wants pets. So it's like, you know, <laughs> everyone profits, but it's so disruptive. And then I also like wake up with cat hair in my face, and I can't imagine that's great for me. Uh, let's get rolling. I don't really want any of these things. We have found chocolate cake. That is great. Uh, I mean, it's like buy an apple. Is that where I like roll hard for the goose? Which I would love. Uh, I don't want to get an apple. I'd, I'd find like a cherry or something before that. But yeah, let's see if we can find a goose. Really not looking to replace many other things though. Come on. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to go to the, like, the test server or something. Maybe that's going to be a little more, um, friendly. Like, if the game is going to be like this all day, then I may check out the test server and see if that's also kind of slow. I'd like to think that it's different. Cat reveal. I've revealed my cat. I've sent pictures in the Discord before. Both of them. It's been a little while, though. But I also don't have pictures on my computer, so I'd have to do that on my phone and this effort. Does your cat bring in rodents or birds every week? 
Uh, not usually, no. Like, again, we have two cats. One of them is, they're both outside cats. Uh, one of them doesn't leave the garden at all. So she basically never does anything. <laughs> Sometimes she'll get some, like, mice or something from the back of the garden. Because it's kind of, it's a small garden, but there's, like, really bushy at the back. And, yeah, apparently, like, mice get in there quite a lot. Uh, the other one goes everywhere, but rarely gets anything. So we're usually safe, but yeah. Every now and then they go through like periods of just getting loads, and I don't know if that's because suddenly there's way more little rodent things around. Uh, yeah, what do I want to do here? Definitely not buying avocados yet. Again, flycatchers are cool in the late game maybe, but they don't do anything here because no one gets summon things or proper summon things until like tier 4, tier 5. So maybe roll, see if we can find some better statted things. Flea. I do need the flea. Let's see if we can get that going. I'm wondering if I like chocolate cake that as well. I mean, it's a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm not really losing any stats if I do that. Maybe freeze the avocado, because I'm probably going to want to buy those next turn at least. Oh god, the rolls. The rolls is so slow. Ah. Oh, let's just buy the avocado now. Buzzkill, hello. The cat brought back... A live bird. That's definitely the worst, I feel. Like, I don't like it when they bring back dead things, which they don't do very often, but... When they bring back something that's, you know, half dead... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That's like the one thing I really don't like about cats. The battle is fast and the shop is slow. It's, like, really painfully slow. Wait, are we maybe okay here? We're okay here, okay. Oh my god, look how fast the wheel's spinning as well. We're just stuck here. That was working fine an hour ago. Yeah, I think after this run, I'm going to switch to the test server and see if that's doing any better. Gonna be lucky, but hope you have a great stream. Thank you, Senji. Hope you have fun. Yeah, we're going to go try and get the flea to, well, level two to start, but I may go for the achievement. Osprey is a nice thing to throw in, but I still want to wait for the goose level up, and I don't really think it's an improvement over a lot of the other things. So I'm going to hold off on that. We have the goose, that is great. I do have two tier three things, so lettuce is a 2-2 buff. And there are worse things to buy. Let's buy that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of more tempted to roll twice to try and find some more avocado, because I'd basically want to replace like three things on my team next turn. You know, the ground, well... Probably Groundhog, still Goose, I don't know. I'm gonna roll for Avocado, I'd rather have extra money next turn. And we didn't find it, shame. All right, we'll do that then. Not really too much lost. First time catching a stream, been binging your videos and loving it. Loki glad you got lazier and did less of the zoom and editing over time. I don't know, it wasn't lazy. Yeah, I, I don't know how to talk about that. Like. I always wanted to do more editing, but I know Sap isn't a good game for it. And then, yeah, it was just constant little bits of pushback in the comments, so I just stopped doing that. But, I don't know. If I if I start playing other games, then hopefully it'll fit in better. And I do need practice to make it good. Nurshark. I'm not a huge fan of Nurshark. Spindle Trumpets deal it as rock damage to one random enemy. I know it gets a lot better when it levels up, but I... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that is one snipe in comparison to just summoning a very large thing. I'm going to roll that, I think. Uh, we're not going for the goose, I think. We do need it, but I don't think I'd go for it. Uh, these are all pretty nice. No synergy for it yet, but don't mind it. May leave the manatee, but semi-early macaque is nice. Probably get rid of the groundhog. Take these two, see if we can find any other synergy. Although I'd have to get something else. Get rid of something else for the macaque. I guess you'll be the next thing I get rid of, but let's roll a bit first. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this. Another slug. Sure. There are things we can do with the slug. Uh, definitely don't want the stilt at the back. Maybe throw it like this? Manta is great with the macaque, but I don't know how hard I'm going to invest in this. I might just be keeping it for like a couple of turns and then abandon that. Oh 
god, it is awful. I'm gonna try and stick it out for this run, but it is taking so long. It's brutally slow. It is. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember the last time it was this bad. We're gonna lose. Yeah. Okay. Well, first loss, like seven rounds in or something. That's not too bad. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna play it separately for now. I need to remember to combine before I finish my turn. Oh my god, this is awful. Why is it so slow? I don't know. I only just started playing, and it's been yeah, like what? I started this run five minutes ago or something, and it's been like this all the way through. Letters to buff. Well, it would be these three. Honestly, maybe we're at the point where the stilt isn't better. This is like a 6-6. Six, six. We get like 7-7 seven, seven stats out of a slug, so I guess I get rid of the stilt first. Let's just sell that by one of these. Maybe the uh, banana would have been better, though. That's like a 4-4. Four, four. We just <laughs> bought a 3-3 three, three instead. But, yeah, we'll see. What achievement are you going for right now? Possibly the flea, but we only have two notches on that so far, so... I don't know. I may wait until... Tier 5 or 6, because I need a lot of things from those tiers. I think that managed to like, push so far. Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> yeah, we lose. You have to wait 5 seconds after doing anything. Why does that make me weak? Because I'm complaining about it? Where are the server monkeys? Yeah, I just want to know that the server monkeys are working on it. Uh, cockatoo? I never do cockatoo. We do have three faint things. So I can maybe get rid of the macaque then. And <laughs> I don't know what else I'd run, but I don't see... Like, when else am I ever going to run a cockatoo? Yeah, let's try cockatoo. Alright, so we have the flea and the... Uh... Slugs. <laughs> I need to find something to replace this. Uh, oh, I love that. I can even roll once. Okay, definitely want to freeze banana. Come on. You can do it, game. I believe in you. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. You have that. I'm going to move you back there, just so there's no problems. And then go crazy. Okay, so the plan is, at some point, I'm going to have to get rid of something. And, uh, probably throw a bear in here. Yeah, I think that's probably how the run's going to go. Probably gonna end up combining the slugs or something, because like I do want to get the flea level up. But if you don't find more of them, I don't know if it's worth going for it. This is why I like buying chocolate. Watching the background while I throw myself at the Elden Ring bosses over and over. I gave up on Elden Ring like way too early, I think. It was a fun game, but I just could not learn. And hold on, Patatrick! I'm looking to call you Patrick, but thank you for the tier one. I still don't have alerts working, apparently. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. Like, every time I test it, it seems okay, but I can't test it without hearing double. Hmm. You never got Elden Ring too busy playing plants or PvZ shooters. Yeah, still haven't tried that myself, but probably won't. Let's roll it. Buying bananas for these isn't too bad, but yeah, there's actual things we could be finding. Don't really care about lettuce. It does buff those two, but... Am I keeping the flea? <laughs> I almost want to throw it on here, but I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's it. One other thing I could do is just, like, use cockatoo catfish, and then use that to scale up, like, these three or something. I'm hoping this counts as a faint pet, because I'd rather have the white whale, a slug, and a flea instead of two slugs and a flea, but... Yeah, I'm going to throw this on here because I do want to see what get, what it gives me. And I may go for the achievement. Pterodon, or Pteranodon, as it's been, as I'm being corrected. Our view lobby is going to be painful. If it stays like this, probably. We could maybe do stuff on the test server, but I don't know how many people are going to be into that. Do I follow football teams? No. Nah, I don't really follow any sports. So yeah, Pterodon is amazing for the flea. But I don't know if it's worth, like, getting rid of these stats. It all depends on whether the cockatoo, like, works on the white whale. Because then I could just, like, combine these two and I can buff 
this, this, and this every time. And this can double trigger this and replace everything with weakness. And that would be really cool. Ah, uh, let's just try it. Let's try it. Need to learn someday. If the game will be so kind to actually do things. Pretty sure it doesn't work on whale. Uh, it should be a pain pet. It just should. Which achievement am I going for? Uh, lots of options at the moment. I'm thinking either Flea or Cockatoo. I'm probably going to end up getting rid of the Pterodon, but it does have nice synergy with the Flea. I don't know, maybe I get rid of the Cockatoo instead and I just, you know, have a bear back there. You can also use Wobble. I can, yeah, but I'd, I'd rather get this to like level 2 if I'm going to do that. And I'm not sure if I've seen any Waffles. <laughs> the Pterodon. I'm going to keep calling this a Pterodon. It's like already locked in my head that I <laughs> don't think I can change. Uh, yeah, though. That's probably worth it. I can get like a double slug trigger or something. Yeah, I think we're probably going to get rid of the Cockatoo. And there is the Catfish. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. I think we're going to do Flea and Pterodon. So I just need to like find a bear. Uh, for now, you can have this, I think, and I'll freeze the flea. Come on, you can do it, game. All right. You also call it a pterodon. You're realizing that you just can't read. L literally same. I think was yeah. Was it XRB that corrected me last time? I literally thought it was pterodon the whole time, and I never realized that I was just missing out a no in the. Like, Tyrannodon. <laughs> I swear, I must have read it once and then never looked back. Oh god, this is a painful run. It's like, it's, the waiting isn't even like that long, but I hate it so much. <laughs> right, I think the next thing I do is throw this on here, because then I get an extra trigger on the slug as well, which could be pretty good. Like, I could do it on there, but then we're not really getting any benefit yet. Once this gets to level 3, then I can take away the equipment and give it something else, but... Yeah. For now, we'll try that. Don't really care about leveling the slug again. Don't really care about Bird of Paradise either. What I really need to do... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't think a third one of those is great. I could, like, freeze it, maybe. Maybe I do just stack it. We got 1 HP to spare. And I can buy this as well, but again, if it, if the cockatoo doesn't work on the white whale, it's not really great stats. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to leave this as well. It's a decent buy sell, but I think we can't really improve until I find a bear. So I'm just going to have to pray we find one of those. People are used to calling it pterodactyl. I swear, I think I googled the difference at one point, and I can't remember what it is. I assume it's something to do with, like, one of them. Like, Pterodactyl maybe has hands and a Pteranodon doesn't. Yeah, hands hands in quotes. Like, <laughs> little fingery things at the end of their wings. Also, maybe I can make it without the bear? I don't know. I thought we'd, like, need more than this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the cockatoo. If I saw this, I wouldn't mind just, like, playing another... another wolf here. But I think we wait on that. Also, probably shouldn't have immediately sold that, because if I roll really hard and don't find anything, then I'd probably want to, like, keep it on the team. Oh god, and maybe I want to not roll at all. Thank you, bear, for gracing my run. Uh, this will not work. It is, like, a pair, but if I can get levels... Basically, just, like, leveling the grizzly. If I can do that, then that'd be huge. Just to level 2, to start. At least, uh, nah. <laughs> Too late. We already have what we need. Uh, none of this is amazing, either. We have time. We have time to try and get this to work. Oh god, the pain. <laughs> the pain, please. Okay. Keep it going, keep it going. Nah. Alright. It's fine. We can get this Grizzly leveled up, and then after that I can just go hard to try and level the Flea and the Pteranodon. I think once this is level 2 and we give it, like, Potato or something, I think we really don't need to worry about anything else. Apparently they existed during different eras. Pteranodons are bigger and don't have teeth. Hmm. Is that weird like... Were they like birds or something so they all had beaks instead? 
Although I know a lot of birds do have teeth, so I actually don't really know how that works. Don't actually spend more time on land because they're hands. Ah. That's kind of cool. I've seen, like, you know, skeleton y things before, and just, it's always surprising how big some of those things were. And to think that they were, like, flying. Yeah, we're buying this. <laughs> we want the flea. Once that is leveled up, then we can, I don't know, probably give it a tomato. Uh, I do really want to find another level for this before the end, though. I feel like we need that pretty badly. Definitely going to take this, though, because that means it's safe from other builds like this. Don't need the tomato yet. Need to find chocolate and stuff before that. All right, the bear is leveled up. We still have time to try and get the pteranodon or this guy, even if it ends up taking a while. Canadons have more beakish things like pelicans. They have 90 teeth. Have you ever seen a picture of a goose's mouth? I think it's a goose anyway. There are some... It, it's either that or swans. I think it is goose though. But they have like shark-like teeth. Like they have rows and rows. Or they have teeth on their tongue or something like that. I actually can't remember too well. Whatever it is, is like terrifying. And the lag on this is worse than when I get brain fog. Uh, yeah, it's is hurting. I can't even buy it yet. There we go. Hey, we have that as well. Okay, gonna start here. Come on game, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check out the test server after this, because um, I, I don't have the patience. Alright, well, we got a sticker at least. Uh, I could maybe put a potato on here this turn. I do want to replace the flea equipment at some point too. I think it's kind of important for this to not die, so I think that's fine. Uh, honestly, leveling that isn't terrible either. I think it's probably worth a freeze. It's not terrible, but it's not like insane either. And yeah, go crazy. Have you heard the sounds a swan makes? Uh, I feel like I've heard honking before. If you mean like some sort of weird swan war cry, then no. Please. What's in the last one? No. Oh, we're safe. <laughs> Run, not dead. Not dead, Pog. Yeah, I'm stacking that. This is probably going down the drain. Like, we're already so late game. We're not actually scaling. We're getting, like, a little bit stronger. But if we go against a Bird of Paradise team, I'm not sure how this is going to do. Yeah. Keep rolling. If I do that, then it eats something else. I have to throw it here. <laughs> the question is whether I'm going for the level 3 Pteranodon. Because even if I do get it, it's basically not going to trigger. Because this triggers, this triggers. And then it'll have like one more opportunity to trigger on one of the smaller slugs, maybe. Assuming it doesn't get wasted on the one that's at the front. Which, yeah, it's, it's not insane, but I can't do this. I'm probably not getting the bear level up, and I want this one, so... We'll do that for now. Flea still has bad equipment. I definitely do need to replace that. The tomato. Yeah, I know. I forgot, like... I, I just forgot about it. Think he might die? No, I think I will as well. I'd have to get lucky, because this definitely dies to some of the, you know, spookier late game teams. Would you run this laggy game, or would you never play Super Mario <laughs> Uh... I doubt I would stick with a game for that long if it was like this, always. Like, I can tolerate it for a while, but like if it was like this all day every day, then that would be pretty painful. You love the idea of lower timer in the lag. I want that in my arena runs, please. Okay. Yeah, still not buying pretzels. Uh, I don't want that either, like... I don't know. Is the egg any good? There you go. Okay, we <laughs> have a tomato. We get to keep the 11-9. Uh, hmm. Let's just buy the avocado. Save money for next turn. Wouldn't mind leveling the white whale, but I really want to find the pteranodon thing, because we'd love to get that achievement. Yeah, we got, like, fairly stronger this time. We get, like, an extra an 11-9 in the fight, plus, you know, one tomato trigger. <laughs> yeah. Shame. Alright, well, expected, honestly. 
Okay, anyway, let's like ditch this then. I need to check out the test server and see if that's going any better. I'm hoping they're not all like, you know, hosted in the same place, because if they are, then I imagine that's also going to be pretty laggy. You could win with the level 3 bear. I've had the level 3 bear, I think. It's going to be in G somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Level 3 grizzly bear. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to change to the test server and see if I can... Oh well, yeah, just see if that's any better. Do, do, do. Where, where have I saved the link to that? There it is. Okay. No, the test server's down. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Back to regular sap. Who knows though? Maybe I'll like pivot games for a bit. Does anyone know how long it's been laggy for? Because if it's only just started being laggy, maybe it's going to fix itself soon. I'm a little bit more scared that it's like being like this all day, and there's no chance that it's going to fix like right now. Police is darkness. It should be fixed now. Don't worry. There were issues yesterday. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Destructo, thank you. I'm actually going to take a double hydration for that. Okay, I am gonna think I'm going to do... Oh. Do one more of these. And if it's still laggy, then I may just shuffle around what we're doing today. Like, I may start with some luck be a landlord and then come back to view lobbies after. He puts it black to hide the rest of his stuff. Not, that, not completely true, actually, because I have it set to a game capture at the moment, so... When I close the game, it should close off anyway. So you wouldn't be able to see anything. I did used to use desktop capture, but it's also scary. In case something like acts Like, I don't have things to hide, really, but you never know what's open. Freeze it, magpie. Yeah, you can stay at the back. Normally, I like having the, like, you know, quote-unquote more bottom-heavy stuff at the back, but it's kind of nice having the, um, the goose ability... Working on something with more HP. Might be able to get multiple hits in that way. Yeah. Well, it's a draw, but we're all good. I'm playing all throughout today and it was fine. I don't know. Have there been any like announcements on the Discord? Community. Uh, oh god, we <laughs> I bought that ages ago. Uh, okay, let's just, like, buy two things here. Maybe I go for the possum again. Even though I know it's a terrible idea. Oh god, it's so bad. In general, is anyone complaining anywhere? I see someone saying, yes, yeah, server issues. Yeah, I have no clue. Can you do a squid build? I think I need the squid, so I wouldn't be against it. I don't think it's a great pet, though. Gamba will lose his sanity. I don't have much to lose, to be honest. Yeah, so I already have the sea urchin as well. I actually can't remember doing that one. But squid, faint, spend a trumpet to give a, the first enemy ink, and then you give more things ink as you level it up. So I'd want to find a stilt for that. Uh, yeah, honestly, from tier 2, I guess I'm just, like, looking for these. Wouldn't mind, like, doorhead ant. That has decent stats, but... I'd rather not level random things. Okay, I'm actually gonna freeze both food here. And I'm going to look to, like, replace the goose and the little snail. We definitely don't need those. Uh, there is a squid. There's also a doorhead ant and a <laughs> possum level up. We start with this. Such a fish. Ah, uh, wait. I mean, I can double sell to get both, but then I won't have any trumpets. If I double sell to, like, buy one and a cherry, then I don't know how much better that is. Okay, I think... I think I do, honestly. Let's get rid of the magpie, because I feel like I could actually use the cone snail for a bit. And... Well, it's sending like this, maybe? So then, this thing gives us cherries... And that thing will also have more HP. So this thing's definitely getting one trigger off to buff this. And then that thing should hopefully carry the fight for me. And then next turn I can buy the squid and 
Hopefully replace the cone snail with a chocolate cake stilt. It's definitely asking a lot, though. Oh, come on. Mean trades. And we're going to lose. Wow. There's some complaints, but nothing official yet. Yeah, I'd just be interested in knowing how long it's been, like, going on for. Obviously, a lot of people are saying that it's been fine all day or fine yesterday, but... Hmm. If you'll get on, maybe we can crash the servers. We don't want to crash the servers. Everyone get off SAP, so I get all the servers. <laughs> just me. Me playing against the ghost teams. That'll fix everything. Uh, I don't want chocolate cake with the things I have. It's only good if I get a stilt. And that would be great, but... Yeah. Okay, another squid. Not terrible, not terrible. Uh, How else can I get trumpets from the next to... Guinea Fowl? Really not amazing, because I wouldn't have a way to buff it. Like, it has some synergy with the Surgeon Fish, but we're in the same problem where we need trumpets for the Surgeon Fish to work. <laughs> so I'm actually going to hard roll for the stilt, I think. Stilt or like another squid? Nothing, okay. Well, I'll leave everything where it is. Right now the squid isn't going to work. The, you know, because we're going to get two trumpets. They both get used by the certain fish. Still think I prefer this, though. What if there's just one person with a billion all slagging the game? You know what? I never thought if there was, like, many people botting Super Auto Pets. <laughs> I feel like they're not, but maybe. This looks good so far. There's not a lot to go off, in my opinion. Oh, well, there's the stilt that I was thinking about. I think I just get rid of the cone snail by the baboon. It buffs either... Well, actually, no, it will buff the surgeon fish. The question is whether I buy lettuce just to buff these two. Keeping that thing alive is nice. Like, it would be if we got more trumpets, but we're only getting two at the moment. Hmm, I'm gonna roll it. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to do here. I want to get rid of the sea urchin so I can have, like, double baboon. Uh, I don't think that's it, though. Maybe just buy baboon, freeze lettuce, roll once. And if we don't find another baboon or squid, then we just buy the lettuce. Come on. Actually, I need the surgeon fish as well, so maybe I do that instead of the um thing. If I'm going to be buffing it, like, for now at least. Whatever keeps us alive. Oh, how do you get those medals? Yeah, uh, that's doing achievements. You can, like, toggle on the visibility of it on that little menu. I'll show you after the fight, I think. Or try to. If the game will let me. <laughs> Early manatee. Jealous. Okay, at least this combo is kind of working. Okay, nothing I want here yet. Uh, but yeah, you can, like, press this little toggle in the top left and it shows you... What achievements you have out of everything. If it's lit up, like just... Because like some of these are lit up, but they don't have a ribbon. Uh, the ones that are just lit up, you've had at level 3 at some point. But not not necessarily one with it in arena. The ribbons means you've had an arena win with it at level 3. So, yeah. Still a lot to do, but I've had some nice ones. Oyster's going to be interesting. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave this lettuce. I'm going to roll a bit with the avocado frozen. I just want to see if I can find a baboon. Actually, maybe I buy this first. I wouldn't mind finding another avocado before the end. Buy that. Freeze it. And nothing. Alright, another avocado then. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm locked into. Because we're really spread out at the moment, and none of it's very good. There's not much early buffing in the golden pack. Nah, like, Baboon's pretty good. Uh, lettuce can be amazing at tier 3. Because if you get to tier 3 by, you know... You, you may have, like, one or two early tier 3s, then you can buy one on the same turn and then get a couple of lettuce, then suddenly you have, like, three large good things on your team. But, yeah, most of the, like, actual good scaling starts at, like, tier 5 and up, I think. I say most. It's really just the Bird of Paradise. Like, that is my favorite by far. Yeah, I <laughs> know the lag is awful. Okay, sea urchin. No, we're not doing that. Uh, there is a manatee and a banana. I don't know, though. 
Uh, hmm. What else can I do with this? I actually need the Manatee Ribbon as well. But that would be so annoying to do in this pack. You'd have to, like, constantly give it potatoes so it doesn't just kill itself. You need more trumpets? I do, but, like... Who gives good trumpets? There's no one. Like, Saigar Antelope if I get some slugs? But then, like, I shouldn't be having these things, because there's probably better uses of it. Hmm. I think I'm definitely not using the sea urchin. It means I wouldn't be using my other trumpet things, but I think I'd try and hard pivot this turn, maybe. I don't think I can afford to sell this by Manatee Banana yet, though. Let's find something else. Still no weasel. Come on, game. You can do it. Oh god, this is going to be awful. The tier 5 pet that gives 8 trumpets. Yeah. The, uh... What's his name? You. Nyala would be amazing. Just give that to Chocolate Cake. Free 16-16. And Bako! Thank you for the 12 months. Such a long time. Thank you for the tier 2. It's been a year. It doesn't feel the same. I can't hear it. Aw. Oh. But seriously, thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Okay, I think this is staying on the team for a bit, because it's kind of big. Oh no, because that's almost leveled up and it can scale other things. Don't really want to buy any of these. Uh, a level up, sure. What do you have? Take your time. <laughs> oh god, the pain. What time is it for you? We have a time command. I actually forgot that said big K. <laughs> but yeah, it's almost 7pm for me. Uh, I don't think there's a good way for me to use the Emu with this build. Like, there are cool things you can do with it, especially with Poison Dart Frog, but... Yeah, I don't have a Poison Dart Frog, sadly. I do want a tier 4, but like... Oh, you know what? Actually, I haven't had that achievement. Alright, let's get rid of the Sea Urchin. Like, I know that means... No, let's get rid of this. Alright. If I got rid of the Sea Urchin, then this isn't working, and then everything feels bad. But I do want to replace a lot of things, I think. Uh, Possum. I can just sell that and buy a Dart Frog. It's going to buff this up, but I don't really care about the buff at the moment. So I can buy a Dart Frog, buy another Banana. I think that makes me a fair bit stronger. But I'm really, really not liking this. Sea Lion is really good. I mean, I enjoy Sea Lion. I think I'll keep that frozen. I'm probably going to freeze the avocado as well, but... Let's do something like this. So that's going to buff the HP of everything, I think. Pretty sure it's attack behind, HP in front. Uh, Oh, I have gold. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. I may pivot games and swap around how I'm going to order today's stream. Uh, they have a lot of stats. Also, I don't know how good a 211 is. Yeah, that needed more attack. Sea Lion Scaling is just health slash attack. What? It's just the health slash attack dependent T6 is really nice. Kinda losing what that meant, but... It can be nice if you have things that specifically need one thing. Like, I imagine just turbo scaling attack onto a chick or something could be pretty nice with it. Same reason the way, like, Highland Cow is pretty nice. You only need one stat on it for it to be useful, but... Yeah, I'm wondering if I do that now or if I wait a turn. Kind of tempted to do it now. So, I was buffing this. Hmm. Unless I like sell the sea line and go double baboon this turn. I actually don't mind that. Like, there's a lot of things I could get rid of here. Getting a large Poison Dart Frog could be pretty nice, because I also haven't had that. Uh, potatoes? Alright, but I can always just give that wherever it is. Onion. No. No, none of it. Alright. Okay, so let's just scale the Dart Frog then. Combine the Baboons next turn. Definitely want to make room, though. What's luck to be a landlord? 
Uh, I actually have no clue how to describe that game. <laughs> it's kind of a roguelike, but it's like a slot machine. So, like, when you play the game, you add new symbols to your machine, and then you roll it, and they all have different combos depending on, like, where they land on the board. On the screen, whatever, again, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm actually going to give this to you, because even though I don't care about it, and I probably want to replace it later, everything else on my team is really not that permanent, other than other than the baboon. So, yeah, I think that's how I make room. Catfish? I mean, I do need catfish, uh, luring Doctopus. I could take it and see if we can get that going. But it doesn't mean I need to find <laughs> blurring Doctopus. Uh, freeze this! I could always, like, throw it on there and see another tier 6. Which actually probably is better, so I will do that. Cobra. Oh god, if we can get catfish scaling going, that could be amazing, but I'm so close to death. Mm. Okay, hold on. I'm actually going to leave this at the back. I could have been getting an extra snipe out of that. I'm going to freeze it. Leave everything else. Continue to leave everything else. I need a blurring octopus, please. I'm going to have to leave the dart frog for now. It's not going to carry. Okay. Seems like the lag is finally gone. Uh, I need to check. That game, like, yeah. When I pressed enter in that time, it was pretty smooth. Also, we're definitely going to feel some pain here. Didn't lose, though. Deck builder slot machine game. Yes. I want to do this. I mean, I should just get rid of the sea urchin. Like, it's barely doing anything. It's one trigger for the surgeon fish, but like... Six extra HP. This thing could get like a much nicer trade. If I'm scaling something on this team, I want it to be... Something like that, but yeah. Keep the chocolate frozen. Oh, there we go. Alright. Uh, I'd have to sell the baboon to get the blue ringed octopus and like level 2 catfish this turn. Unless I sell the dart frog. But I think I think I definitely lose if I do that. The baboon scaling could be nice later though, because we are going to have at least two tier sixes on the team always. So yeah, this just kind of sucks. Maybe I just like sell surgeon fish, buy blue ringed octopus, give one chocolate to the catfish, and just embrace that we're not getting two triggers this turn. She gets a snail. I don't want a snail. Yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. All right. A little bit more. I really do need to find more of these, though. Like, I don't think I want to buy waffles until this thing is at least level 2. But I want to get all my levels in these guys. Hmm. Guess I should throw that there. I want this thing to get the most snipes. Because this thing is only doing, what, 20% to 13? Probably, like, 2 damage. 2 damage a snipe. Yeah, that's going to be scary. Like, a lot scarier than the last one. <laughs> Another trade! Now, Catfish isn't working. I... Okay, I... I haven't... Oh. Yeah, I haven't used these in a long time. For some reason, I thought I had it like that. Well, whichever way it was. At some point, they changed which way around they had to be. Obviously, it definitely doesn't do anything there. But... Yeah, they changed it since I've last actually used these. Start to turn, buy one, well, spend one gold, activate buy ability of the nearest friend ahead. So that needs to be directly in front of the catfish. Uh, going to leave the rest of this. Debating if I, like, use chocolate on the blurring octopus. I know snake needs to be somewhere else. Pitta bread. Is anything even big enough to survive? <laughs> I feel like it's poison dart frog, but I don't want to replace that. We're just going to leave that there for now, but yeah, I don't think pitta bread's it. I'll take tomatoes. Tomatoes are levels for, like, these things. Yeah, pretzel doesn't work. Uh, no. It's fine, but no. Yeah, okay, well. That's as about as far as that's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely dead, I think. But honestly, not surprising, because this run definitely sucks. The lag is still there. I don't know if it did get better or not, but there's definitely still a lag. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I need I need equipment if I can't get levels right now. 
So I'm going to send that again how it was. White whale could be good. I'm not really seeing it, to be honest. Like, of course, having a white whale with a slug inside it is good triggers for either the snake or the frog, but... It, it doesn't save the run. What saves the run is getting good scaling out of the catfish and stuff, but we need to not die to get that to work. And that's the part I'm struggling with at the moment. <laughs> we're like, we're three trophies, one HP. Ah? One more. Okay, if I find chocolate, definitely doing it. Because that's another, like, 2-2 two -two next turn. Damn, okay. Keep rolling. Still not buying those. Hmm. Come on, give it a chance. Give it a chance, please. Come on. No, I, I needed that to die. At least we're getting like a load of snipes out of the Cobra. That's kind of cool. But... <laughs> There's summoning a 50-50. Nah. Nah, okay. Fair enough. Four trophies. I tried. The run did kind of suck, though. I need to just, like, remove these stream elements things. Almost there. Yeah. Should we, like, a possum? I'll take a bulldog, but... Nah, there's, there's still definitely... Oh god, triple bulldog. There is still definitely lag in the game. Favorite pet? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Grizzly bear? I feel like it's, like, the strongest. Uh, let's be the Elden Rockets. Penguin. Penguin used to be my favorite pet, but I feel like I don't use it enough anymore. Uh, is it gonna trade? It is gonna trade. You like the hawk? It is a very solid tier 4. Let me take this as well. Wouldn't mind rolling for a cone snail, but like, this is pretty nice. We'll also move one of the snails. Yours is Monkey. Monkey's my favorite scaler from pack 1, definitely. Is the betting still a thing? Yeah, we can do some predictions. Alright, we'll you know, get 600 minutes. Dude, how did like four of my things survive? What, double stilts? Do I need the stilt achievements? I do. Okay, so there's potential for me to just keep that. Also, love a weasel. Like, legitimately one of my favorite things from tier 3. Like, weasel and baboon are the only things I love from tier 3. So, that's a definite. I think I stack these as well. Stack those. I'm going to get rid of the Silk Moth and run double stilt, I think. And, yeah. <laughs> Let's get a chocolate cake, too. Come on, game. You can do it. Uh, yes, we do not need a Bulldog. I do need the achievement. I do not care. I <laughs> don't like Bulldog enough to do that to myself. And that, the run. Thank you for the hydration. Elbowed my mic. Yours is Buffalo. Hmm. I used to love Bison, actually. I hate they, they nerfed Bison like really sneakily, so they made it so it wouldn't um trigger itself. Because it used to be that if you had a level three Buffalo or Bison, whatever it is, then it would scale itself. But I don't think it does that anymore, and it sucks because it would make it so much harder to get a full full Bison team working. Bison Barry approves, yeah. Do this for two gold a turn. <laughs> uh, do I just, like, roll a ton? I almost wanted, like, double chocolate cake this, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna buy this, because it's like buying an apple for something on the team, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy that, then this apple, and then roll once more. I don't want to roll much if I'm keeping stuff frozen. And there's really not that much I'm looking for from this tier. Like, it would have just been another stilt, really. Gonna let that, like, insta explode. Don't want to risk it dying to some random snipe before it can get the thing. And bison vomit emoji? What? Come on, bison is amazing. 
It is a lovely pet. Oh. I just go overboard with it. Like, <laughs> if I get like multiple bison, I want to run them all separately and have like as many as possible. When that is not the play, it's just the funniest play. And early dark frog. Uh, combine the stilts. Play this at the back. I don't have any summons yet. I don't know if I'm going to get any. Yeah, what do I want from tier 3? There's really not much. I just like buy avocados when I see them. Okay. Well, I'm still happy with where everything is. You just 100%ed Golden Pack today? Hey, congratulations! I'm like halfway through, which means I'm probably like a fifth of the way through. <laughs> Yo, Natick, hello! Uh, what is up is that the game has been very laggy. It is improving, so it's a little bit better than it was. But the first game we played was just brutal. Like, having to wait like five seconds for every interaction. Oh. Okay, avocado freeze that. Again, if I'm rolling, I'm just going for like a stilt. I wouldn't mind a weasel level up, but... I don't know what my odds are on finding that. But also, I don't want to buy this egg, so yeah. <laughs> it's all for stilt and or weasel. Nothing, alright. That's fine. I was doing beetle with the last few. Wait. Wait, what do you mean by beetle? Need to check again. He's going to get like way too many triggers after that. Or none. He got like one trigger out of it. You okay, Dark Frog? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Hercules Beetle. Right, that does make sense. It's definitely one of the more pointless ones. Like, Oyster's annoying because, like, it has, to be fair, it could have a worse stat line, but. Yeah. It's a tier 5 and obviously no ability, so it's kind of annoying to find a lot of them and doesn't really do anything. Uh, no idea what to do with the Nurse Shark, though. Like, we do have some some Trumpet generation. But I'm also really not a huge fan. Let's see. Can I get rid of the Dark Frog and feel fine? Probably. I can just, like, sell Dark Frog and then maybe get rid of the Stilt at some point. I don't really want to do another Macaque game, and I still prefer using my Trumpets normally. So let's get one of those. So scaling HP on this. Have I had the Cone Snail? I haven't. I mean, who knows? Maybe I can do both then. You know, let's get rid of this as well. Maybe I can like, use a load of these things. Uh, I don't have to pick this up, though, so I will keep rolling. Oh, now I want to sell the baboon again! <laughs> I'm doing it, alright. Sea Lion Sandwich. We get 1-1 one, one on everything in the middle. It's, it's worth it, I swear. The only annoying thing about this is that my frontline sea lion is always going to be the most healthy one. If it was the other way around, then I could have really top heavy stuff at the front, but yeah. That might end up being a little bit annoying. That was also pretty unpleasant. It's one free gold from selling it. Wait, what are you talking about? The awkwardness, hello. Uh, yeah, I think I want bananas. That's another 4 4 in the fight. It's like very solid. I will also buy an avocado, and then I get to roll twice to try and find something else I might care about. Another banana would be cool. Another sea line wouldn't be terrible, and yeah, shark reset. Love that. Is the stream freezing up every now and then for others, or is it solely on your end? Uh, I haven't dropped any frames. The game itself is being very laggy. But I assume you know that anyway, so I don't know. You buy and sell oysters, one three gold. It is, yeah. I don't know what the context was, though. Time to restart the resident. Nah. I can combine my sea lions. I think I'm going to do that. I only have one faint pet, so I don't think it's worth buying and selling this cockatoo. Uh, but I will do this. Like, those guys, they can get slapped together. And a grizzly bear. Yes. I think I'm going to throw it behind the sea lion, though. 
So these guys will get HP. Grizzly Bear will get attack. But like the healthier these ones get, the more hits they'll, you know, hopefully be able to do, and then the Grizzly can try and kill stuff, even if they don't have a lot of attack themselves. So I don't mind that. And sure, you're staying. <laughs> Ah, oh, why not? Alright, we're doing this then. At least for a bit. At some point I am going to have to move the sea line to the front, because everything else is going to need attack as well. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh. <laughs> uh, another banana. Oh, I really don't want to. I want to put, like, pitch bread on here. I'm going to roll and see if I can find chocolates. I also don't really want to do this, because I feel like it's not going to carry me, but let's greet it. Let's see if we can get both. Oyster and Blue and Octopus, both pretty good buy cells, but again, I don't know where I'd throw it. I don't know, like, what else can I do to make this team just more survivable? I feel like the sea line by itself isn't enough scaling to keep this afloat, but also it's like kind of the same as a level 1 Bird of Paradise. Because like, I doubt we'd be able to get two triggers a turn from the Bird of Paradise. White Whale would be good for Grizzly. Yeah, it definitely is, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably get rid of the Cone Snail. Kind of like everything else, or at least I want to try and get the Bulldog, but... Let's see. Nyala, I don't see as much. Like, again, you can get some... You know, an easy 16-16, kind of, but... I think it's better if you're, um... I don't know. I want some sort of synergy, in which case it's like scaling for the Grizzly. It's scaling or lots of summon spam. What can be good? Uh, can I attempt to throw this on there first? I can throw that on there and then sell the Blue and Octopus and buy the tier 6. Catfish. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um, I think I'd die if I try that again. Like, I don't think I can sell anything to make that work. Let's just roll it. Okay, definitely selling that again next turn. Obviously, a wolf isn't a terrible thing to throw in, but... Yeah. Do it. I don't know what you're saying do it to. If you're saying do it to the catfish blurring octopus, then nah. Like, <laughs> anything that I sell, like, guarantees me a loss in the next fight. Which it looks like we're going to be losing anyway, maybe? Yeah. White Whale, Banana Wolf would have been great, maybe. I wouldn't say great, because at most is one extra trigger for the Grizzly. Which isn't terrible, but... Yeah, I don't know. Run's probably just dead. Okay, good. I will continue buying these. I want to keep everything that I have. I just need it to be a bit more survivable. Uh, tomato's not terrible either. Again, I don't want to throw it on here though, just throw it on the weasel roll once, try and replace this. Okay, Nyla, that's a fine, like, temporary thing to throw on the team. And it is a sacrifice, but yeah. I also need to check if my um, cosmetics are randomized, because I feel like I've been looking at the same thing since the stream started. But I can't remember, so... Because <laughs> I swear I, like, never lock them, so I don't know why that would happen. I'm gonna do that now. Unknown error. Dude, if it, like, kills my run... I shouldn't have left. This is, like, way worse. Yeah, it's not randomized! Okay. Desync. Fine. Chocolate! Amazing. Cobra? Uh, I mean, it's cool for the sea line. It's not great for, like, anything else, though. I don't know. Like, if I sell the Bulldog, then I'm not actually getting an achievement. I do need the Cobra as well, but I doubt we're going to get there, because this isn't a very strong team. But who knows? Maybe I'll just, like, sell the Nihiler and just buy this anyway. I could, like, force attack onto it. Like, sit that there. That's not too bad. Alright, so no more buy selling, but we're in a decent spot. You do nothing. More chocolate, always appreciated. Uh, I actually might need a potato for that. Like, I definitely don't want it getting sniped. 
And I'm going to leave the sea lion. I do need the achievements, but I feel like it's going to be too hard for this to be the game where I get the sea lion achievements. Like, to survive, I need to level the cobra and all the grizzly again. Because this, this team is too, like, spread thin at the moment. It's got too many things going on and not a lot of synergy. Okay, well, that hurts. <laughs> it's, it one-shot the guy. All right, that helps a lot. Uh, oh yeah, definitely loving this. Okay. Well, that's that then. I'd love to see the Cobra leveled up this game. I'm going to ignore the Tomato. It's fine for the Sea Lion, but... Yeah, let's, let's kind of greet it, see if we can get this done. Maybe I should throw it like... Because oh, then I'd have to do that, and then this isn't scaling attack anymore. Or HP. It was incredible. It's getting better. It's still very small though. Because now it's doing like 4 damage to snipe or something. No, more than that. 40% to 16. I don't know. That's probably like 6. It's nice that we have like targeted attack scaling for it though. And then we go against this. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. At least it was a believer game.